Hello, Chef here. Once again, I got this gigantic chicken breast that I've cut into some even pieces. I'm going to make a quick marinade and get this on the grill. For the marinade, I'm using lemon. A little bit of zest. A little bit of the juice. One teaspoon of minced dried garlic. pickles out of your refrigerator. Three tablespoons pickle juice. Two tablespoons cherry juice. Fresh ground pepper. One teaspoon salt. And a dash of paprika. One teaspoon cumin and two whole cloves. That's the marinade. I've also added a few tablespoons of water. Chicken goes in and coat each piece. Let it remain in the marinade a minimum of one hour. One hour later, the chicken has absorbed some of this marinade, changed color. Okay, a couple of quick grilling techniques for you. First of all, hardwood, better flavor. A Little bit of charcoal, nice and hot. Brush off your grill. Notice also, hotter on the left, cooler on the right. Oil the grill with a little bit of salad oil or vegetable oil and a small rag like this. Now it won't stick. The chicken. As soon as it gets some nice color on it, I dip it back into the marinade. Get more of that flavor. Cherry wood. It doesn't take a lot, just a few pieces is going to flavor a whole grill full of chicken.
chicken now has some nice marks on it. I'm going to move it to the top shelf away from the heat or the cooler side of your grill. I'm going to be adding some of this cherry wood right to the coals. Okay, starting to get some smoke off of that there. Now, the rest of the marinade, I want to cool off this fire. Aiming for 200 degrees, close the vents. Oh yeah, look at that. We've been going about 25 minutes now. Got a nice, nice, nice cherry smoke there on that chicken. It's moist, it's juicy, it's looking good. I'm gonna pull it off now. Yep. Checking the largest one with a digital thermometer. Just got up to 160, so it's looking good. Oh yeah, look at that chicken. Cherry wood smoked. Uh, this is not competition, but it's not far from it either. Look at that. Perfect chunk of chicken breast. It's juicy too. Wow. Follow my steps and your chicken's going to be amazing too. Oh yeah, time to move on to the next step. Organic tart cherries. A dash of rum. Cherries getting hungry. Oh. Oh. Yes. Pepper. Four oh four. This one is brass. This was featured in one of the big magazines. I think it was uh, Bon Appetit, Better Homes and Garden. They said, "Wow, best pepper mill you can buy," because the quality is there. Watch my other videos. Like, share, subscribe. Oh yeah, these babies are in stock. It's gonna be good. And don't forget. All things Butcher Block from your sponsor. Butcher Block, edge grain, end grain, love it. The best working surface for your kitchen. Professional chef, home gourmet, doesn't matter. Butcher Block, check it out. Now you're wondering just how good is this chicken, right? I don't always marinate my grilled chicken, but when I do, it comes out perfectly. Good idea to salt it after you grill it. There's many, many reasons why. And let's put a little more of this fresh ground pepper. Oh yeah. So now, you're interested, you better search, subscribe right here and search chicken on this channel. Knife inspection. Are your knives sharp? Are they as sharp as mine? Real quick mention here. The other part of the knife is the cutting board or cutting surface. You see I'm doing a rocking motion here? Cutting some imaginary herbs. Beautiful. Same thing with the next one. Uh, the angle's not as good, but it's working. Okay, same thing with the next one. Yeah, I like it. So
Wrap it tight, get the air out, shelf life three days. <laughs> the blocks. Get the best block the first time. Visit your sponsor. By the way, I'm cutting tomatoes, so I never use a butter knife. There are people that have knives this dull. They're trying to cut their tomatoes with these butter knives. What the heck are they doing? This is for spreading butter or cutting cheese. It's a little chef. He's cute. From France. Chef cooked in France with Chef Bocuse. Bocuse is renowned around the world. So you'll pick up some master chef tips on this channel. Chef Bocuse. Yeah amazing guy subscribe right here let's get cooking oh yeah it's gonna be good people often ask me about butcher block care and maintenance and I've actually got all the answers for you so I've been using this for decades and decades all different shapes and sizes it just keeps on going one of the questions that comes up all the time is how to maintain oil it monthly if it's oil finish I prefer the mystery oil this is the best uh, beeswax is good too Knife inspection. Are your knives sharp? Are they as sharp as mine? Wow! Check it out. The sponsor's got Japanese knives imported direct from Japan and butcher blocks made in the USA. Free shipping, no tax, discounts. You can't go wrong. meets the uh, silicone. However, this is uh, FDA approved food grade high heat silicone that goes to 500 degrees. You can see the end of it's just starting to wear a little bit. I like the curvature and the shape. So I got with this manufacturer and we improved the design. Uh, here we go. This is the new design. These are about 10 inches long, I believe, maybe a little longer than that. The hole allows you to hang it if you like to add a little loop of leather or string in there. You can hang them up if you want to. But anyway, no more bacteria right here. Blueberry pie, blueberry jam. Blueberries, ah.
yeah, that, that is the good stuff right there. Professional cutting boards, chopping blocks, butcher blocks, custom sizes, many styles, all made in the USA. I'm just using some sticks, a little paper, a little cardboard, and the lump charcoal.